let's check what's new on the version 0.90.1 of Logic World. So Logic World just got its first update after the early access release on Steam. It has been only one week since the release, so this is a small update. We actually are having a few changes on the buffers items, so we'll check that out later. But before that, I want to congratulate the developer on the 2000 copies sold, and I hope it gets a lot more because the game is really fun. So there were quite a few bug fixes in this release. I will not go through all of them. Uh, there's a full list here if you want to check out. There's a link in the description for the changelog. Uh, there were some improvements in the localization, so I guess there are more work in progress translations. That's cool. Uh, but the main change is in the buffers. So I will switch now to the game and we'll see what's different. So in game we can see that there are now two types of buffer. There's the buffer and the fast buffer. Fast buffer is simple, it's the same as it was before. It has two input pegs, one on each side, and it has no delay. So this one is exactly how it was before, just with a different name. The buffer is the one that is new. So it has a similar functionality, but it has an output peg instead of an input on the left side. So this means that it also has one tick of delay. So if you compare to, to this line here, when I turn on the signal, um, I have delayers here with one tick, so we can check that when I click enter, it has exactly the same delay. So the right one is instant, the um, the delayed line and the line with the normal buffers are the same uh, delay. To show you one place where this new buffer could, could be useful, I will be showing you a little bit of my 7 segment display. So here I did some mapping to map from a 0 to 9 to the actual segments that needed to be on for that number. So to do that I used one tick delays because it has the output peg and it's a good way so that the signal doesn't get messed up in between the numbers. Now with this new buffer I could remove all of this and use the buffer instead of the delay. So that's it, like the video if you found this useful and subscribe if you want to check out more content on Logic World.